Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss various data types in Verilog. So Verilog has a basic two data types, variable type and net type, both which hold a four state values 0, 1, x and z. Basically, Verilog has a only two data types. One is a variable and second one is net types. So each data type we need to declare before using it. So data type of each variable or signal has to be declared prior to its use. So now 0 represent here logic 0 or false condition, 1 represent a logic 1 or true condition, x represent unknown logic value, z represent high impedance state. In real time, we don't have x and z, but why we need x and z in very large simulator? We'll discuss that. So here 0 represent, we are connecting to the ground, whereas the 1 represent that pin connected to the VDD. So x is why we need x in Verilog simulator i'll explain so for example if you say if you take a deep flop due to setup and hold time violation maybe it is enter into the meta stability state during this the output of that deep flop may be 0 or 1 so because of this issue we cannot predict the output value in that scenario we'll use x similarly the z represent high impedance state here for example, that pin may be connected, not connected either 0 or 1. In that case, we represent that value as a Z. So the net data type can represent a physical connection between structural entity such as a gates, model instance. These net data types are declared using a wire keyword. This net data type is used to connect the physical entity in a model. So whereas a variable is an abstraction of data storage element, store a value from one assignment to the next. So it can hold the value until we assign it a new value. So we have various uh, types of variable data types, reg, integer, real type. So coming to the net data type. So this net data type can represent a physical connection between a structural entities, such as gates, model instances. For example, I'll show one example here. So we use a keyword while to declare that variable as a net type, that signal as a net type. So now see in this example, we use a two of adders and one RG to get a complete full adder. So in this, the off adder, one off adder output is connected to the another off adder input. So here W1, W2, W3 as a wire signal. These are the intermediate signals declared as a wire types. So now we instantiate two models, one is off adder, another off adder two and off gauge. So to connect these structural entities, we'll use this net data types as a wire one, wire two and wire three. So here I can declare wire W1, W2, W3. So these W1, W2, W3 are internal wires, which connects the instances off adder and gate primitives. So the net come in many flavors like wire and, wire R, are my tri-state buffer. But most of the designers use scalar and vector wires to connect together the ports of design block. Now see in this example, here we can declare y2 down to 0 w1, where w1 is a net type, but it is a vector. So 2 down to 1, 2 down to 0, sorry. Now the default value of wire is I impedance. For example, we didn't initialize anything to this variable, the variable which declared as a net type, then the default value is I impedance z. So now in this example, so wire a comma b comma c and assign c is equal a and b. So the LHS of continuous assignment should be y type only. So now always we remember that LHS of continuous assignment should be a y type. Clear? Now another uh, data type, variable data type. So variable is an abstraction of data storage element, store a value from one assignment to the next. Means until we assign a new value, that variable hold the previous values. So we have different type of variable data types. One is the reg, integer, real and time. So now coming to the reg, reg is a four state data type, user defined vector size and unsigned. So it can hold four, uh, four state like 0, 1, x and z. And also it is a user defined vector size. We can define the size of that signal. And also it is unsigned. So reg is a variable which retains value till it is updated. The reg hold a value between two assignments 
it can be used to model hardware register but don't think that always need not to be represent a hardware register by using this data type so don't expect always this reg type in for a large or flip flop the default value of reg type is x now see in this example so simple the flip flop is model using the reg data only so now example reg q always at the rate passage clock begin if reset q equal to 0 else k equal to d it is a simple modeling of a d flip flop using a behavioral model so now here that q should be a reg type the lhs okay in the procedure block are initial or always it should be a reg type so now you see another another example the lhs of assignment inside the procedural block should be reg type only now here take wire x comma y reg a initial begin a x and y and it is a completely combinational block where that a is used in the procedure block like initial or always it should be declared as a reg type so even though just for understanding i gave this example so initial anyway it is not synthesizable to just to conclude the lhs variable in the always or initial should be a reg type now for example if you say reg a assign a equal to 10 it is not allowed it is illegal we get an error so if you do a continuous assignment that lhs should be a y type in the previous slide we see okay if we declare that variable as a that signal is a y type then we can use in the data flow modeling like assign a equal to 10 that here a should be a y not reg if you declared a as a reg then it should be used in a procedure blocks only either initial or always not in a continuous assignment now another data type is the integer an integer is a general purpose variable especially used to manipulate the quantities that are regarded as hardware registers clear so it is in a four state data types like a reg it holds 0 x z and 1 and also 32 bit signed integer so 32 bit signed it is a signed register so we know that okay register means it can hold the value so variable data types it can hold the values but it is a signed bit so the initial value for reg time and integer data type should be the unknown value x so arithmetic operations performed on integer variable should be a produced to complement results so it is in a 32 bit signed integer register so whatever operation we perform it is in two's complement notation only example if we take integer a integer value so used inside the processor blocks only so even though this is integer okay it is also a variable type we can use in only inside the processor block like initial and always now if you see initial begin a equal to 10 this is a correct because that a is in the processor block in initial then a declared as a integer type so now we cannot write like that assign a equal to 10 because it is in a continuous assignment statement in this case the a should be wire not a reg type or variable type so now that integer is 32 bit signed register only it is a reg type only but it is 32 bit signed register i hope you understand okay where should we use these variables and also that net data types so another data types i will discuss real so in Verilog, the real data type is used to store and manipulating floating point numbers so it is mainly used for a simulation and test bench purpose like uh, it cannot be synthesizable okay so just it is used only for simulation and test bench purpose okay we cannot synthesize this data type so example real a real value so the default value of real data type is zero whereas the default value of y is z the default value of reg is x and integer is x but the default value of real data type is 0, 0.0 so it is also used in a procedure blocks like integer and reg only initial and always now we can write initial begin a equal 2.5 and n. so it is a acceptable so now it is illegal where that a should be a y type not reg type not variable type so real is the one a variable type only so now see in this example module real example just i declare a variable a as a real type and another variable b as an integer type 
now initial begin now a is equal to 3.6 and b is equal to a. just i want to display those values a and b now the value of a is 3.6 and the value of b is 4 yeah the value a is actually it is not 3.6 it is a 3 but that b is equal to a b is an integer type so it is round to the nearest integer value now it is a 3.6 then it uh, uh, nearest integer value b as a of 4 now coming to the time data type it is not synthesizable so a time variable is used for storing and manipulating simulation time values only it is not synthesizable only it is used for simulation purpose so time just it is a, a counting a simulation time okay like integer based so it is a four state data type and 64 bit unsigned integer with a default value of x it can hold four values 0 1 x and z and it is a 64 bit unsigned integer with a default value of x so real time the precise simulation time calculation so like it is a time but precise simulation time so it is a real time is a signed floating point number whereas the time is a real point okay so that a real time is a signed floating point number with a default value is 0, 0.0 so the difference here it is a time is a 64 bit unsigned integer with a default value x whereas the real time is a floating point number that to signed okay with a default value is 0, 0.0 so we'll display this uh, uh, value by using a percentage like a t so ensure correct formatting in the display by using this we will display that time values so this data type is used in conjunction with a dollar time and dollar real time system task so especially we will use this uh, data type so in conjunction with the two system task dollar time and dollar real time so what is mean dollar time actually it returns the current simulation time as an integer value same way the dollar real time returns the current simulation time okay as a floating point number as a real number that is the only difference okay the default value is for time is x and real time is zero the time is 64 bit unsigned whereas the real time is a signed floating point number so these dollar time and dollar real time returns the current simulation time like integer and floating point respectively so now a time a variable used for storing and manipulating the simulation time values now if you see this example i'll take a simple example here module time example whereas i declare a two variable like a three variable t1 t2 elapsed time as a time daughter type so here initial begin t1 equal to dollar time what dollar time returns here it returns the current simulation time so what is the current simulation time here zero now t1 hold the value of zero then i'll provide a delay as 10 then t2 is equal dollar time so in this statement the dollar time is written the current simulation time the current simulation time is a 10 now the t2 hold the value 10 the t2 get updated as a 10 now so elapsed time t2 minus t1 so now here just what is the elapsed time here so 10 minus 0 will get a 10 so the in the display start time is t1 0 and end time is a 10 the elapsed time is 10 so this is the output for correspond corresponding program so now if you see this one so in this program so now that i define okay time unit here by using a tick time scale tick time scale 1 nanosecond by 1 picosecond here that 1 nanosecond is a time unit time step whereas the one picosecond is the precision now see if i declare if this uh, time step and precision by using a tick time scale one nanosecond by one picosecond now see in this example just i'll take a uh, one uh, example module time real time example so i declare t as a time variable and rt is a real time okay now in initial begin as 10.5 now here we need to wait 10.5 nanoseconds clear so now in the next step t is equal dollar time where this dollar time written the current simulation time that is the 10 so where is the real time is written exact current simulation time 10.5 now if you try to print this value okay time is equal 11 real time is equal 10.5 why this time t is 11 clear so now 10.5 that t is equal dollar time then dollar time return the current simulation time in integer form then t can hold only integer values so if i get a 10.5 then it's rounded to the nearest integer okay like 11 
that is the reason then if you print the t it uh, display okay 11 whereas in the rt is a 10.5 only because this rt is declared as a real time now if i consider same program but i change the time a uh, precision now so now what is the time precision here in this example one picosecond what is the time step okay time unit one nanosecond so now if you take a same example but a different time precision right so tick time scale one nanosecond by 1 nanosecond whereas the in the time precision here 1 nanosecond the time step also 1 nanosecond now time t is declared as a time rt is uh, declared as a real time data types now initial begin same program yash 10.5 so wait for 10.5 nanosecond where this dollar time return the current simulation in integer type then t hold that value same way the real time also return the current simulation time in the floating point then rt so now we see the output the time is 11 the real time also 11 so why because the precision is one nanosecond the precision is one nanosecond so we cannot identify that 0.5 nanosecond the precision itself is one nanosecond so the time unit itself is a one nanosecond if 10.5 10.6 10.7 consider as a 11 we cannot represent those okay 0.5 nanosecond because then the time precision in the tick time scale we mentioned one nanosecond now see in these two examples if i change the time precision from one picosecond to one nanosecond the real time rt value is 11 in the previous case 10.5 i hope you understand because the time precision is one nanosecond we should represent the time only in terms of nanosecond it cannot recognize that 0.5 nanosecond so it is okay rounded to the nearest integer values like a 7 11 so the default values of various uh, uh, verilog data types now just as a simple program here like uh, i declare reg variable reg array wire array int variable real variable time variable real time just i want to uh, print those default value i didn't initialize anything just i declare those variable with uh, some different data types just i'll display those values so the default values of verilog data types so reg x anyway if it is a scalar okay it is maybe vector if it is 7 down to 0 then that many x wire z default value integer x the real uh, data type default value is 0, 0.0 time x and real time is 0 this is an example to show what are the different default values for various data types in Verilog. So I didn't declare, I didn't initialize anything. Just I declare those variable, okay, and just I'll display those default values. So Verilog data types as two types, basically variable type, we can known as the register type and net type. So both can hold only four state values, 0, 1, x, and z so net we can use a wire keyword to declare net type of signals so we can use a variable reg integer real time these are the various types in the variable data types so to declare a variable as the reg, reg we can use a reg keyword so these are the complete uh, conclusion of Ver verilog data types so wire reg integer real time real time and whether it is four state or two state and also number of bits okay signed or unsigned and also with some examples so it we can conclude okay that uh, verilog has a various data types like uh, net type and variable types now system verilog adds many new data types to help both hardware designers and verification engineers so we'll discuss the system verilog data type also in the coming lectures thank you i hope you understand okay data types of data types in very large. Thank you very much.